we talk about the projection projection of vectors and uh, direction direction angles oh sorry direction angles and direction cosines Uh, what is the projection of vectors? First, uh, the uh, definition of vector projection. Projection. The vector projection. That is a vector. Uh, that is a vector. We write as projection, projection, or the vector B project and projection, the projection of B onto vector A. If this is the vector A, and this is the vector B, we draw a line from the end, end point of B perpendicular to the A and uh, uh, we, we uh, place the start point of B and A at the same point we call this point maybe call this O and uh, the project point projection point we call this P and OP is a vector. We call OP is the projection of B onto A. And uh, this uh, is a vector. The vector has two uh, has uh, two properties. The first is the length. The length of the projection should be the length of B times cosine theta. This is the length. And uh, the direction the direction. Direction should same as the vector A. We use a unit vector. We use the uh, the unit vector of A, that is A over the length of A. So the projection can be write as the projection of B onto A can be write as uh, the length of B times cosine theta. Uh, this the angle is theta and times A over the length of A. Or we can write as uh, the length of B over the length of A times cosine theta times vector A. This is a projection B over uh, or B onto A. That's the vector projection. And the scalar projection is the length of uh, is the length of the projection B onto A. That is projection B onto A. The length of this one. Uh, some textbook right some textbook read this as a component B over A. That's the scalar projection uh, from the Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem. We know that uh, the projection is the, the length of B times cosine theta and then times the direction of A. That's the projection. 
from here we can uh, if we know the set the uh, the angle theta and uh, the length of B and A we can uh, write down the projection directly <coughs> the second the concept is the direction direction angles Uh, the axis x y z axis has the direction as i j k uh, if there is a vector this vector has has uh, has angles with the three axes The positive, the positive, the positive direction of three axes. We call if this is the uh, vector a. We call the vector a with the positive x axis, the angle between a and the positive a x axis. We call this as alpha. And with y, we call this beta. And with z. Can write as different color. You can write as different color. This is always too big. This is alpha, this is beta, this is gamma. The three uh, direction angles, alpha, beta, gamma, is, are the angles between A and positive x axis, y axis, and z axis, respectively. And the direction and the uh, direct direction cosines that is cosine alpha cosine beta and uh, cosine gamma that's the direction angles actually we can find that the direction angles cosine alpha is uh, if uh, if the vector a equals a1 a2 a3 then we can get the cosine alpha the cosine alpha is x over the length of a Cosine beta equals y over, oh, that's a1. That's a1 over a. That's a2 over the length of a. And the cosine gamma equals a3 over the length of a. Because by the Pythagorean theorem, Pythagorean theorem, we got this if this is uh, this is right, uh, right, uh, this is right angle, and this length and this length is this length just the, just the uh, we know we know that our uh, that a one should be uh, the length of a the length of a times cosine alpha so 
cosine alpha equals a1 over the length of a because this the length is just a1 Pythagorean theorem uh, similarly we got cosine beta equals a2 over the length of a and uh, cosine gamma equals a3 over the length of a that's the direction angles and the direction cosines we, uh, look, now we look for uh, some examples find the direction angles of vector a equals one two three first we know the form from the mm, coordinates form of the of the vector we can get the direction cosines directly so cosine alpha equals a1 over the length of a the a1 is 1 the length of a is square root 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square uh, that is square root uh, line for 1 so that is 4 one and 14 we got cosine alpha equals 1 over square root of 14 so alpha is cosine negative 1 the so inverse of cosine 1 over square root of 14 well sometimes uh, sometimes we write as arg cosine that means the, that's the diff different symbol, but uh, re, uh, but represent the same the same function. That is the inverse of cosine. And the cosine beta is two over square root fourteen. So beta is cosine the inverse cosine one or uh, two over fourteen. And the cosine gamma is 3 over square root 14. So gamma is inverse cosine square over uh, 3 over square root 14. That's the direction uh, angles and uh, cosines. We from the we can uh, compute the directional cosines first and then use the inverse trigonometric function to find the angles. The second example is about the two point uh, of a vector de uh, determined by two points two points. Assume m1 equals 2, 2 square root 2 and m2 is 1, 3, 0. First we need to find m1, m2, the vector of m1, m2 and then direction angles of m1 m2 first first we know that m1 m2 the vector of m1 m2 is the is m the coordinate m2 minus coordinate m1 that's 1 3 0 minus um, uh, minus 2 2 square root 2 
because if this is M1, that is M2, this, this is the origin, original. Use the uh, addition of use the addition of vectors. We know that this one is O M two minus O M one. Actually, actually, O M O M two minus O M two minus O M one. That's actually is M1, M2 by the uh, vector addition. This is original. Because the, because the co coordinate uh, of point M1 is, uh, is the same of the vector OM1. So M1, M2 is 1, negative 1, square root 2. And hence the cosine alpha is one lower square root one plus one plus one plus one plus, one plus two. That is one half. So alpha equals actually for from here we can uh get the angle directly. That means uh, cosine alpha e e equals one half. Actually, alpha is uh, pi over three. That that is 60, 60 degree. And cosine beta is negative one over two. So beta is two pi over three. That is 120 degree. Cosine gamma uh, equals square root 2 over 2. So by the special angles, we got gamma equals pi over 4. Oh, uh, that's negative. That's negative. So negative, that is. 3 pi over 4. Uh, 2 minus uh, 1 minus oh, the first one. I got the first one is negative 1. 1 minus 2. Oh, that's 1. Sorry. That's negative. So this is it's 3 pi over 3. Yeah. Now it's correct. Uh, that's the direction, direction angles and uh, direction cosines. Now we uh, look for a third example to see the to see the projections. Uh, a wagon is pull uh, is uh, pull. A wagon is put a distance of 100 meters along the horizontal along the horizontal path by a constant force. The constant force is uh, 60 d, uh, 70 d, uh, newton. That's f. Is 70 newton and uh, the handle of the wagon is held or angle that is 30 degree above the horizontal now find the work we know that the work uh, along a path is a, is a distance is a distance times the the force along the along this direction 
but but the, now the force has angle of uh, thir uh, 30 degree so the complaint is projection so the f of this uh, at this component uh, at this direction uh, um, is projection f over if we call this o a over o a that uh, that is the force the length of the force times cosine theta is 70 times cosine 30 degree that is 70 times um, square root 3 over 2 so the work is uh, 35 actually 35 square root 3 square root 3 times 100 uh, that is uh, 3500 times square root of 3 that's jaw that's the work uh, we use the projection uh, actually the scalar projection because we only need to, to find the, uh, the magnitude of the projection okay that's the projection and the direction angles and direction cosines